Thanks for tuning in. We are talking politics today with SIU Debate Director Todd Graham. Todd, thanks for being here with us. Today. Sure thing. So let's get right into it. Um, we are talking about uh, Hillary and Trump and their scary similarities between, between the two of them. Um, Hillary seemingly opportunistic, kind of changes her stance depending on who she's talking to at the time, but she does. Trump does the same thing. What are some of the positions Trump cannot flip on? Well, for instance, Trump has to stick with his immigration policies. Mm -hmm. He can't change on the wall. He can't change on being firm on the Mexican border. And frankly, at this point, he can't change on the ban or temporary ban on Muslim immigrants because those are his votes. That's where he started. That's where he'll finish his campaign. For the rest of it, like he did this week, he can flip flop a bit and people mm -hmm. won't really matter. So people won't Give mind that example. much. What's Not this week. That, uh... The debt and the deficit. He didn't okay. first understand it this week. And then when he did, he said, we can just print more money and then when people said printing more money would lead to inflation he said no. oh, I wouldn't really do that I'll have you know it's okay to change your mind his voters don't mind that because they figure he'll figure that stuff out but mm -hmm. it's the immigration policies that he's got to that's stick one with. of those things going back to oh I'll hire somebody for that exactly right. exactly okay. and that, it does make sense sure he can hire people who are smarter on the economy mm -hmm. than him. Um, Switching gears uh, to uh, something that is a, another huge similarity between these two candidates, and that's legal issues, possible legal issues coming for both of them. The director of the FBI saying that the investigation into uh, Hillary's emails, that is not going to fit into an election timetable. They're not going to rush it, but that doesn't mean that there might not be an indictment after the nomination. Oh, I think there's a really good chance that Hillary could be indicted, in fact, for the emails. Now, that doesn't mean an indictment sticks, because indictments are just charges, right? Mm -hmm. But I think there's a good chance she could be indicted for the emails during the election mm -hmm. or right after. There's also, obviously, a 50-50 shot. She won't be, uh, but I've done a lot of reading about the emails, and, and there's a lot of gray area there. So there's a chance she could be indicted while running for president. On the other hand, mm -hmm. there's also a chance that Trump can have the exact same thing. In March, they went through with the Trump University fraud charges. He's right. even currently been charged with, it's called financial senior abuse mm -hmm. because there have been seniors who are involved as well. So he's got a number of fraud charges. It could be the first American presidential election in history where both major party candidates are up on serious legal issues at huge. the time that they're running. That is really huge. And Trump also saying that he's not going to release his tax returns right now. He keeps going back saying, well, I am being audited right now, so I'm not going to release those tax returns. Other people saying, well, that shouldn't stop him from releasing information. What do you say about that? Well, he doesn't work for SIU because those tax returns would be easy. You could just get those out there. Nobody would really care. Uh, I think that Trump has some issues. For instance, you know the reason Hillary's getting a lot of trouble from the Bernie Sanders campaign is because of her paid speeches to Goldman Sachs. Mm -hmm. People know about that. Why? They know about that because she released her tax returns. Mm -hmm. So what's in Trump's tax returns? Obviously, he's probably given speeches too, but is it that he's not as wealthy as he claims? Is it that he's not as generous in giving to charity as he claims? Is it that he's got some other corporations that look a bit sketchy. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But it's been 30 some 40 years since the last presidential candidate has not released their tax returns. It's something you should do. Many voters, many Trump supporters saying I don't care about his tax returns, but a lot of people feel like you know the American people have a right to know. Right. And and they don't care because they don't think there's anything in there, but you only care when you see something mm -hmm. in there. And that's what we don't know. So we don't care about things we don't know, but that's an unfortunate instance, right? We should start thinking about what might be in there and then maybe his supporters would say well now that that goes against everything he said right. so perhaps if it's contradictory to his policies then they yeah. would care we just need clarity on exactly that. Right. thanks Todd we appreciate you being here and thanks for tuning in for another edition of talking politics <laughs>